Hello. Hi, Mani. Hi, Manas. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. I'm, I'm glad we can hear each other. I was worried about the uh, uh, sounds because yes. I'm outside. <laughs> Uh, so I want to, you guys uh, enjoy the nature too, <laughs> not just paint. You can see your garden, it, you have a beautiful garden. Yeah, it's, it's going down, but still you can see a little bit, yeah. Yeah. So how many, how many we, we, we are total in four, three, four, uh, five? Yeah, uh, yeah, Minaj, right now it's uh, Wani, you and me. But I think okay. more people will enter. So we'll wait for some more time because it's yet like one more minute is there. Yeah. We'll and, have time. Yeah. So we'll have some time. And um, uh, yeah, in between, anybody is going to uh, send something in the chat. I'm going to uh, keep updating you, uh, maybe interrupting okay. you a little bit in between. Or you wanted to take it at the end? No, no. As, as we do it, if anybody has any question or if they want me to go slower or faster or explain a little bit more, we just go, go like that because at the end maybe the question will be, will be forgotten and things like that. So we have time. I think this, yes. I want to make it as enjoyable. Right now, it, as it just turn one, exact one now. Okay. So we'll hold, wait hold for right. Yeah, I think we yeah, had no. three. While we are waiting, can you tell me what all do I need? Okay, so I, I like you to have at least three, three or four colors, different colors, the one you like. It could okay. be any color. Um, okay. And then you need a canvas. Um, right. Big canvas, a small canvas, depend how, how much work you want to do. And okay. you need, if you have medium uh, to mix it with your color is okay. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. You, can, you need water, you know, glass of water. So I, I teach you how to add water to your paint and make the consistency right. Uh, what else do you need? Uh, that's all you need, actually. Paint. You don't need brushes because we do the pouring today. So the pouring okay. is, little, you know, is different kind of uh, painting. You pour. I, I normally pour and let it sit to dry. And then when it's dry after a week or so, then I will, you know, paint something on top of that. But some people, they keep the background as it is. But right. me, always like to um, mix my abstract and realism together. So, um, yeah, you know, it, it has, uh, but some people, they like the abstract part, they keep it. And um, that's, that's totally fine too. Many people complain about me, said, why are you painting on your background? I said, well, this is for me as a background, maybe for you as a finished paint. But for me, it's a still background, <laughs> so I'll paint on that. <laughs> so, uh, but that depends what kind of you like. That's what I, I didn't choose any color either. I said, bring the color you like and bring the canvas size you like. So okay. according to the canvas size, depends if it is a big or small, that, that shows how much paint you have. What is your size of the canvas you're using today? Um, it's a small one. I don't know exact size. It's less than it's one feet. Smaller than this? Is it, yes. This is 12 by 12. Yeah, it's smaller than that. Okay, so you should be okay. You don't need too much paint, which is good. And what kind of paint do you have? Do you have this kind of paint? Yeah, um, I have a Craft Smart. Okay, fantastic. Actually, that's the best part paint for using for um, pouring. Because oh, that's good. It should be a little bit liquided. That's why we add water to it. And this kind of paint, they don't need too much water. So we are we are very good. So uh, okay. I got this and I said the thicker paint. So I want to show it how to make it uh, more liquid too. Okay. I have the liquid, uh, liquid text of medium. Oh, you had the medium. Okay. Yeah. But if you use this kind of paint, you don't need too much medium. Maybe just a little bit. Just okay. a tiny bit. Uh, okay. Do you have uh, silicon with you? I do. You have silicon. That's fantastic. Okay, we can we can add little bit silicon in your paint when when we are mixing it too. So okay. Are, did you, are you painter? I am not a painter, but I do experiment quite a bit yeah. with paints. I, I, I did. See, you know, whenever I ask, you have it, which is fantastic. This is good. I wasn't expecting <laughs> you say yes. I have silicon. <laughs> I actually so, tried to pour before, but oh. it didn't turn out good. Oh, that's really so good. I'm actually excited. 
I oh, I I do a lot of abstract uh, backgrounds, like you said, and then do my own design over the top. Oh my God! Yeah, we are the same. That's fantastic. That's yes, so but most cool. most of my abstract uh, backgrounds are done with brush and. That's so yeah. cool. That's really cool. Okay. Uh, how long you been painting? Um, not long. I just started um, about two years ago. When I was pregnant and home, I didn't know have anything else to do. So I mean, uh, we I am we are in processing to. Uh, right now we are working on a dance a folk dance group, but uh, after that we wanna uh, once after festival and during the festival we are. Uh, making photography and documenting and then after that I want to get all the painters together and create paint uh, regarding the festival and then we perhaps we have an art show and grand opening and things like that so keep your ears open um, yeah. and we'll, we'll make sure that she didn't let everybody knows and whoever is interested in painting they can participate in that I think it was going to be very very joyful event so sounds good i don't know if you've heard uh, my page name from darshnit called my art nook uh what was the question you're a little bit far away from me um yeah i don't know if you've heard the name of my page from darshnit it's called my art nook oh art nook okay uh well i mean we will be in touch regarding that later on. Yeah, for sure. For the festival, yeah. So, so yeah. I, I make sure everybody who's interested be involved in it. Uh, you know, I want to get as much as artists as, as I can in any oh, yeah. you know, different background, different, you know, culture things and whatever we, we need to do. So, right. I, I make sure you are in it. Make sure. In it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so should we start? Or, or now is it one or six? Not uh, like not nobody else have uh, uh, like. Uh, okay, we, we will, I'm going to start. Sure. And if somebody comes and join, that's then I can uh, pause and explain a little bit for them. Sure. That's okay. Sure. Okay. Sure. I let you know if somebody else joins in. Okay. Sounds good. So, I pick three colors: uh, purple, blue, and white. This is, it, this purple, like it doesn't have any water in it. It just poured paint from the water. Okay. But I, but I, I mixed it well and I added one drop of silicone to it. Okay. If, if you want to pick your painting right now, pick three color, four color, whatever color you want. Okay. Um, What color you are using? I'm using red mm -hmm. and uh, I'm using blue and turquoise and white. Oh, that's that's lovely color. Look, uh, when you you mix it, how, you see how creamy it is? Right. It has to be dropped, but it's not very runny, but it's creamy. Okay. And and it still leave a mark on the top, you know, on top of the painting. So this is the way you want it. So mix it well. Okay. That's my purple. And I, because I have this size of canvas. I took this much painting. You can take less because okay. your canvas size is smaller than mine. Right. Can I mix it directly in the bottle? Because I don't think I'm going to use this for anything else. You, you, no, you use it directly in the bottle and then there is the extra. You always can um, uh, keep it for the later on. It won't go bad. Right. Okay, so this is my purple. And the blue is the same. I mixed two blue, actually. I had darker blue and lighter blue. And mixed them okay. together, it is still the same. It just, 
very creamy. At the same time, it's not very runny and it leaves a month to month paint on top of it. Got it. And you did not add the, the medium to it, right? N not in these two, no. Okay. Because they are liquid enough. But with my white, the white I'm, I'm using is this white and it's okay. thicker. So I'm going to mix it well first. Make sure this one has. Then I would add tiny, tiny bit of water in it. Mix it again. When you are doing pouring, if one of the colors is has different constancy, actually it will have better result. Okay. And so one say, you know, make different color. So I will mix it very well. Okay. And if this one is still a little bit thick, so add a little bit more water to it. Oh, the reason I'm doing this because if you want to use different kind of painting, you can. You don't have to okay. stick. Some people have favorite colors and things like that, so it would be. A little bit because the, uh, that's a thick paint. Okay, this is this is good. Um, I think I won't add any uh, silicone in on, on white color, but there is silicone in these two colors. Okay. So maybe what you can do, add silicone um, to all the color except for one. You choose which one. It doesn't okay. matter. So Maynaz, if we don't have silicone, then that's okay. The silicone. Um, uh, that's that's a, um, it's the silicone sometimes you get bigger cell or smaller cell if you want to sell in your painting but paint like this when it's thick like this it makes when it's you uh, use different kind of consistency one thicker and one uh, thinner right. it makes it, it acts like silicone so it doesn't matter okay mm -hmm. okay yeah, my daughter is doing it with me, so we don't have silicone, so that's why I thought I'm going to ask okay. you. That's okay, that's okay. Uh, um, and, and, and I want to see, you know, if it is a possibility, you take a picture of all the paintings, yes. you and your daughter and everybody does. Yes. So it's nice yes. to keep it as a... Yeah, no, definitely. So, and um, do I need once, to once, add... you ready, once you are ready, your paint is ready, we are going to next step. Okay. Do I need to add water or um, medium to the... No. no, no, no water in a medium. If you are using medium, um, as long as your paint is not too thick or not okay. too runny, you are okay. In one, it's in like a, a soft yogurt. You want that consistency. That that's the paint should look like. Okay. Like the, uh, the, my white is a little bit runnier than my blue. Okay, but it's still, it's still, you know, it just just look when I do this, it still is right. creamy. So what okay. one thing you want to do, mix it very well, right? Because you don't want any air bubbles in it, no. Okay. And sometimes I paint, I mix my paint night before, and leave it, and this way there there is all the bubbles are gone. So that's the oh. other way to do it. I this I painted the canvas before I had, because I want to test different color. So my suggestion to you, you don't have to paint it, but it would be nice if it has a code, very lightly code on it, any color you want. Um, but when we do pouring, it will cover the canvas anyway. But I painted it just in case I don't want to 
my paint go all the way to the canvas, so I just painted the whole thing. And you can use, sometimes you do coating and you see you don't like it. You can always coat, coat it with another color and pour on top of that. So this way you never, you know, um, you never think your, oh, this canvas is wasted. It never get wasted because you can do paint over and over, over it again. As long as you put a top coat on it and then, you know, pour on it or make another color on top of that. So this one, it has mixture of orange, silver, and yellow. And, um, oh, I don't want to talk about the technique, the other techniques, I will talk to you later. <laughs> don't want to confuse you. <laughs> Tell me whenever you are ready. So we want to move together. Oh, I want to show you. It, it will look like something like this. It's called rain pour. I'm sure you are familiar with it, no? Uh, the way we pour the paint on top of the canvas, it looks like this. And I did another one here. This is rain pour, but I dragged my paint from here to here. That's why it has leaf shape. But this one is not drag. I just poured it in the circle and then tilt okay. it. The bigger one, did you do a white coat first or did you directly pour? Uh, we are, no, we don't pour directly on the canvas. We pour it with layers of a painting on, on another cup, then we pour it. Right. Yeah. No, did you do a white coat at the beginning? This one? Yes. Yeah. I did okay. and and I didn't go all the way around it, and then I I drag, you know I did swap, right. in this corner. So this is swaps and you know effect, but this is the uh, rainfall, and this is directly the rainfall without any swapping. Okay, got it. So we probably do this today. We don't do swap. If you are interested, we can have another session for swapping, different techniques. There's all kind of co cool thing you can do for background. There is always, you know, uh, you can do feather, you can do chain, thread, and swap, um, balloon. Balloon effect is marvelous too. So that's one other thing. You can do, you can play with paint a lot actually. I, I, I love this one. It's just amazing. Like yeah. this one, you know, the way it looks, the layers of paint, the separation, it, it just turned out really, really nice. And the colors of this too. Yeah, it's, it, 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 this one has different, you know, style to it. But because the, the paint style is the same, but the pouring was different. This was, was done in rainfall all the way. Mm -hmm. And this one was poured and dragged. So right. we have to decide, do we want to drag or we just want to, you know, just pour? Which one you like? If we can drag it too, that would be cool effect too. So once you are ready, we can decide on that, you know, do we want to drag it or do we want to just pour on it all the way? I think I'm ready with my colors. Okay. So you need another cup, empty cup. Right. Uh, how many colors you have? I have four. Four. I have three. And um, so we are going to, I'm going to start with my blue. I'm going to pour. I'm going to layer the pour. So this is my blue, then I put white. You, you can layer uh, the way you want it to, any color on top of each other. So we are going to layer all the colors until we have enough paint. This is, this is my purple. So I will do another white. Oh yeah, no, I do blue because the first color was blue. So I just go follow the same pattern. I go blue, white, purple. Mm -hmm. 
again, blue. white perfect and do it from the side is easier to pour it later on blue okay. Depend how you pour it, your shape and your pattern will change. So it would be cool, you know, to see even we do the same system, but what kind of pattern we get. How many layers is up to us, right? What's that? How many layers do you want to we want to do? Okay. Yeah, it's totally up to you. Okay. Now I'm going to do what's the remainder of on my all my painting because I want it for the corner. I don't mind it all, all of them to have in one cup. So this way we don't waste any paint. And I'm going to use it for the side. And I'm going to add it a little bit more water to make it more liquid because for the side, you just want to cover the canvas. You don't want it really. Mm, I think I add a little bit more because I put maybe I put a little bit too much water there. I just add a little bit more glue to it. Okay. Are we ready? Oh, I think so. Okay. Just put this one aside. This one in this area. So what I'm going to do? Yours is looks like this too. There's a layers and layers of paint. No. Not so a I'm lot, but a little. Uh, so but you have layers of paint no yes yeah okay so i'm going to you can pour it from this side or you can pour it from opposite side it will you will have different effect but i'm going to pour it from the side i pour in I put the painting in so i'm going to go to the center of painting and make a circular shape as our point as our point. Can you see?
So I do this until the end of the thing. Now, if I drag my cup, I get different design like this. You can drag it or you can just leave it. And remember the liquid paint I had? So pour it. I want to see everybody pour and see. And put the rest of the paint in the canvas just like this. So it doesn't get anything else. How we are doing? My paint could be too thick. Too thick? That's okay. Just take your time and um, just pour it, you know, as all the way. That's okay. You you use this this paint, no? Yes. Yeah. These are the. Yeah, they should. You should be okay. And then you have another paint, you know, if you have extra paint, you can put, put around it. But the extra paint you put around it is a little bit more watery than the other one. I just add more water to it so to make it a little bit more liquid because this paint, the one you are doing around the painting is used just for felting. And probably you won't see this paint, you know, once you finish, you are done with the paint because it will go. This is access paint. It goes out. Because you are focusing only on um, in the center. So I'm going to just I can see here the sound of pain. <laughs> so this, the, the liquid part, the, the one I put outside is runnier and is only helping me to move the other pain in the center. That's the only purpose of this. So it doesn't matter. It's it just there we go. And you can, if you have extra paint, can paint the side of your canvas too. So I'm just going to let it sit a little bit to settle. Eh? Then, are we ready for the next part? Yes, I think I am. Okay, so now you take your canvas and tilt it circular way. Very slowly and very gently. The paint you put around the pouring, it helps you to move the center. Got it. 
So that pain you put around it is not really doesn't matter. And it helps you to move the center at the same time. It helps you, you know, once you tilt it, you see it's opening up. So if you put it through one corner, bring it back to the center again. Always bring it back to the center before you let it go. And to bring it to the other side, Bring it back to the center again. Every time you do that, it will open up more. So bring it to the other corner. Bring it back to the center again. So we are going to let it go to that way. But before it runs out, I'm going to bring it back to the center. And once in the center, I'm going to let it go this way. Before it runs, I'm going to bring it back to the center again. It looks delicious. Oh my God, it looks so cool. Now it's in the center again. I'm going to bring it to this side. Before it runs out, I'm going to bring it back. Now, everything is centered. Now I have to decide, do I want to lose this this um, negative space here, or I want to tell you some more, but I like the negative space here, so I'll probably keep it the way it is. But you look at your painting and you see if you want the paint cover the whole canvas, you get rid of the negative center, you just keep tilting. But in my case, I think I just leave it and I just covered the corner of the painting. This can easily, one cute boat can sit here, right here, anywhere, and complete this painting. Once it's dry, I'll probably put a red boat in it, somewhere here, I might add, you know, some. Um, so the, you can see the circle I have here. I don't know, you can see. Uh, I can bring it a little bit closer to the... Can you see it? The circle in the center? Yes. Yeah, so the effect of, you know, different color crashing to each other, is, it shows very well here. Now it's good to cover corners actually since I have it up <laughs> but I always can decide if you, I want you know this goes more further I can that's the reason I added in the corner just in case I want some negative space and then I let, let it sit for 24 hours and it's completely dry and then I can do whatever I want. Even your paint look thick, when you do tilting, you see, it, the thickness, it will disappear. I just wanted to show. Can you see that, Anas? Yeah, oh, look at that, that's, that's nice. What do you think? Do you like it? I I like it. Yes, that's gorgeous. Thank you. Wow. Let's show ours. <laughs> oh my god, it's beautiful. Oh, just love it. Thank you. 
So this is the way we do rainbow. Nas, check ours. Oh, wow. Can you see? Yeah. Uh, yes, yes. Huh? I you can't see your video yet. You can see it? No, I can't. I'm not able to see hers. Oh, oh, oh now I can. Wow. Yeah, I can see it. It looks so cool. Wow. Yeah, that's I love beautiful. It. <laughs> I love yeah, it. See my daughter here. Yeah, oh awesome. Daughter. Awesome daughter. Awesome. What's your daughter's name? Anya. Anya. Yeah. Very good job. My God is beautiful. Good job. Thank you. Oh my God, love you. So sweet. <laughs> so sweet. Um. So, if if you are you know if if you are interested in different techniques. We could have this once a month and just try different techniques together. It's lots of fun. It was amazing. So, Menas, what to yeah. do after? Like, how long we have to? Uh, Let, at least twenty-four hours. Okay. I will. I will even more because this paint is on top of the paint, on top of the paint, and on top of the paint. No, so I will even leave it completely dries for good. It it doesn't have like when you touch it, it shouldn't stick to your hand. If it's stick to your hand, that means it still is not dry. For security, I'll wait for 48 hours. Okay. And then, if you wish, you can do something realism on top or, you know, some, any design you want. If you don't, I think as, as it is, it looks very nice too. It doesn't need really anything. But if you wish, you can, you know, you can paint on top of it. Put, in my case, because I use blue and white, uh, both would be very nice, you know. Um, or maybe I even add a little bit of sand here, uh, make a beach, you know, in one side and add a boat or something. You know, I have to think about it, but what it comes to my mind. Uh, or I can keep it just like this. I keep it just like this. But the background is always is much more fun to have it different color um, action reaction of different colors but you know uh, some people they just paint with brush different color that's fine too but i think this kind of background always bring more more excitement to the art because this is art no you express yourself it's not pictures it's not a like tree even you want to add tree if the tree was should be very colorful it shouldn't be look like a picture that's to me that's the way I look at the art because it's art is you your emotion your colors your feeling so you bring it to the canvas so whatever you feel it should be in here that's awesome. all right yes Manas. thank you so much this was really fun I would love to hear your feedback if you have any suggestion or any way we can make it better I'd love to hear it. please Feel free, very comfortable, and uh, give me your positive, negative feedback. I would be very happy. And I'm sure we will have this. We can have it online or something if people want to do it themselves. Try it later on. We can do that. Thank you, Mena, so much. Thank you. Anytime. Oh, wonderful, wonderful afternoon. Bye bye. Thank you, thank you so much. Bye. Oh, you're welcome. Anytime. Anytime. Bye. Bye bye. Menaz, uh, before you leave, I'm going to stop the recording now. Okay.